Hola, buenas tardes. Good afternoon, my beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. I'm so glad you could join me for another video. It's your girl here, Daniela, coming at you from a beautiful Friday afternoon. Oh, TGIF. Thank God it is the weekend. My goodness, this week has been definitely a lot. <laughs> But I'm here. I'm alive. Hey, girl's alive. I'm still out here. I'm still surviving. And I got my cafecito planner t-shirt in the mail. And I just had to come on for a video to show this baby off. Super, super cute. Latina-owned, California, born and bred. Cafecito designs. Super, super cute, and I can't wait to see what else they put out. But yeah, they put out planner stuff, stickers, um, washi, you name it, and t-shirts. So today I wanted to come on with a bit of a chatty video, a bit of a, a fun video. I wanted to do a video where I share with you my top 10 sticker books that I wish existed from the Happy Planner. Well, I mean any company could go out and do this. Let me know if they have already, because I would love to check that out but if you're interested in hearing what 10 top sticker books i would love to exist to have exist just keep on watching i have my notes here with my hello kitty moleskin so let me just get into this because your girl likes to talk and my videos are like half an hour long usually and i just need to tone it down i need to tone it down so the first sticker book that i wish existed is a winnie the pooh sticker book and i'm gonna just pop images on the screen in case you don't know what i'm talking about but if you don't know who winnie the pooh is do yourself a favor go check out Winnie the Pooh. The Happy Planner has come to us with so many Disney sticker books, but they have not yet given us Winnie the Pooh and the Hundred Acre Woods. I would buy everything in that release because I love Winnie the Pooh. It was my favorite children's show growing up. Some of my oldest toys that I still have are little like stuffed Winnie the Poohs. I used to collect Winnie the Pooh plushies when I was a kid. And he's so cute and I love his philosophy. I actually have the complete illustrated treasury of the collected stories of Winnie the Pooh that I received as a gift um, a few years ago. It's in a really, really nice bound book. Um, it's really heavy weight, uh, hardcover, super luxe book. I also have this book called The Tao of Pooh, which is all about the Zen philosophy that Winnie the Pooh embodies. So I am such a Winnie the Pooh fan, and I would love to see a whole sticker book with my boy. The second sticker book that I wish existed would be a honeybee themed sticker book because I'm partial to my honeybees. I have worked with them for the last seven years of my life. I do, um, I'm a researcher, I research honeybee genetics and I just think they're so cute. So I can imagine like a Save the Bees sticker book from the Happy Planner and everything in it is, it's functional, it's decorative. We have beautiful honeycomb patterns. We have all the beekeeping tools. And I actually think that some like small sticker shops have made like beekeeping type sticker sheets, but I want a whole book of honey beekeeping experience from the happy planner okay the third book that i wish existed would be a kind of like a wild styled sticker book which is that beautiful sticker book from the happy planner let me see if i actually can pull it out oh no it's buried it's buried in my like pack of sticker books but I want a wild style, to, but instead of it being leopard print or cat print, I want snake print and reptile print and alligator print and crocodile print and all types of snake and reptile print. So I love that the Happy Planner gives us so much leopard and cheetah and tiger and big cats. You know, big cats are beautiful creatures. They're their coats do have beautiful patterns but your girl loves her reptilians i love my reptiles and i think that their coat colors their scale colors are just as beautiful if not more beautiful than the 
the colors, the color patterns of the big cats. Okay, the number four sticker book I wish existed would be a national park sticker book. Oh my goodness, like I would buy like a mega pack of national park stickers and have it also be kind of like road trip and camping and adventure type stickers. I love the national parks. I want to go to every single one in the United States. I feel like I've gone to most of the national parks in California already and I've gone to a lot of national parks and state parks in Arizona as well because it's the state that's you know just over and uh, everyone is such an experience so I would love to have a national park sticker book so the fifth sticker book that I would love if it existed it would be a Mushroom Kingdom extravaganza. I just want it to be a sticker book full of like mushrooms and tons of boxes and functional things all in that like warm browns, russet browns, color story, and a bunch of fun woodland creatures. But most of all, I want it just to be tons of different mushrooms and have it be all vintage. I love mushrooms. I'm such a huge mushroom forager. It makes me happy to look at them. So I would love a mushroom sticker book. Okay, my number six sticker book I wish existed, and I cannot believe that this hasn't existed already from the Happy Planner because, okay, let me just say it. I want a coffee lover sticker book. I think that would be awesome. I feel like 99% of people who are planners are also coffee lovers because we need all that energy to be so productive, right? So I would love one that's like filled with like beautiful latte art shots, beautiful like, you know, lots of deco and tons of like functional boxes and you know, just, just give us a coffee lovers sticker book happy planner. The next one is I would love to see the desert dreams sticker book. So this is, I want an entire sticker book that was from this um, theme right here. I'll pop up the planner that this theme like started off from the Happy Planner. Um, so like two years back, Happy Planner released this gorgeous, beautiful Desert Dreams Saguaro Cactus Fantasy right here, which one of my all-time favorite covers that they have ever released but I want an entire sticker book in that theme and I do know that they came out with a couple of pages of that theme in their recent like everything essentials sticker book uh, one of those big sticker books that came out and I was so happy that they gave us stickers from that planner or like that that wasn't that similar theme but I am a greedy bee. I want everything. I want it all. I want a mega sticker book of that theme. And I would buy probably like two or three. <laughs> okay, and okay, the number eight sticker book that I want from the Happy Planner. I want a Happy Planner. A Happy Planner. I want a sticker book that is completely full boxes. So I'm talking about um, here. Let me see if I can just pull for one. Okay, 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 found one, found one. So this is one of their newer sticker books, and I want a sticker book that has completely full boxes. So full boxes in sticker terminology are these guys right here. They're just dec purely decorative um, boxes, sticker boxes, that you can pop into your planner. They're really motivational. They're usually really beautiful and detailed, and they're just like a little artwork that goes into your planner. And I think they're expensive to print because they usually have a lot of color, they're large, sometimes they have foil on them, sometimes they're actual photos that the Happy Planner like puts into stickers. So I think they're relatively expensive to make. I could be wrong about that. I don't know. People who work at Happy Planner, um, let me know. But I would love to have a book that is just those. Like I would just like nothing else, nothing else just decorative full box stickers and yeah that would be amazing and all types of different themes and there's quotes and just just a full box uh, I mean a full sticker book of full decorative boxes I think that would be amazing all right moving on there's just three more sticker books I wish existed I want another bookish sticker book so that was that sticker book that had all of like the book and the reading themes 
I want that, but I want it to be a little bit more neutral. I want it to be like the color palette of sophisticated florals or even like blush in it. Oh my gosh, I love this color palette so much with the pinks and the light beige. So I want bookish again, but I want it in that beautiful neutral color palette. You know, I want soft beiges, maybe accents of black and dark brown, but mostly in that like soft beige, maybe some light pinks, some mints. Um, I would love that. Like, I like the bookish sticker book that they brought out, but its color palette is so specific to that sticker book, it's really hard to pair that color palette with other stickers and other, you know, colors. You really have to stay in that color family um, for it to kind of work out. And it's such a bright and unique and not very easy color palette to like mix and match things with. And so I would love if it came out with bookish, but like sophisticated bookish, if you know what I mean. All right, the last sticker book that I wish existed is another themed sticker book. I want a The Very Hungry Caterpillar sticker book. Again, if they partner with Disney, they can partner with the Eric Carl Foundation. That's the author who wrote the children's classic, The Very Hungry Caterpillar. The artwork in Eric Carl's children's books is amazing i love it so much like it makes my artist heart sing Ugh, it's timeless it's timeless eric carl's the very hungry caterpillar i love that i love that book so much i love the artwork i love the story i love it all right everyone that was it i hope you enjoyed this whirlwind tour through my aquarius brain where i just think about what could the future possibly hold? Let me know what sticker book you would like to see from the Happy Planner in the comments down below. Your girl wants to know. Let me know, let me know. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.